Greetings, esteemed audience. Great to meet you once again. I'm always glad to know you're still determined to develop your proficiency in this language, English. Thank you for being out there for Phenomenal Success Academy. Listeners, today we are going to learn about Concord. C-O-N-C-O-R-D, Concord. Now, in English grammar, when we say Concord, we are talking about one thing. There is agreement between subject and verb. Before you learn about concord, there is need for me to give you a short reminder about the terms, the verb, the subject, and the object. When we say verb, V-E-R-B, verb, we are talking about one of the most important parts of speech in English grammar. The verb is so important in English grammar that you may hardly be able to compose a sentence that is grammatically correct without using a verb. While on the other hand, you can use a single verb to make a meaningful sentence in English without having to use another word. For example, you can see come using just C-O-M-E, come, without adding the adverb here. If you don't want to have to add the adverb here by saying, come here, you can say, come. That word alone sends a meaningful message to the listener. So you see, the verb is so important that you can make a grammatically correct sentence by using it. Listeners, verbs are action words. A verb is the doer of action in a sentence. Though some verbs do not express actions, and these are what we call auxiliary verbs. And as a reminder, an auxiliary verb is a helper verb. They help us to express tense. That is whether present continuous, future tense, or past continuous or future perfect. For example, present continuous, you cannot express yourself using present continuous tense without using auxiliary verb. Let me give you an example in a sentence. I am talking to you right now. We are studying English grammar. The verb am in the sentence is an auxiliary verb. We are studying English grammar. The word are, A-R-E, in this sentence is also an auxiliary verb. Let's try to remove them from the sentence and see whether the grammar will be correct. I talking to you right now. Does it make sense? It doesn't. I know you know it. It's very wrong. What about the R ah in the second sentence? We studying English grammar right now. Does it make sense? No. I know you know it. So it's wrong. Now, apart from auxiliary verbs, we also have a very important type of verbs which we call men verbs. Listeners, when we say men verb, a men verb can either be regular verb or irregular verb. As a reminder, a regular verb is the type of verb that usually forms its past form and past participle form by simply ending in D, IED, or ED. Let me give you an example with one that ends in D. The form each past the form of past participle form and that is the word dance d-a-n-c-e dance if you want to change it from infinitive form dance to past form or past participle form all you need to do is to add d and you get d-a-n-c-e-d dance and this is an auxiliary verb dance danced danced the next listeners let me give you an example uh, of a main verb, regular verb, that ends in ed, the form each past the form. The ones that end in ed are usually the ones that end in a consonant, like the word record, r-e-c-o-r-d, record. Any regular verb that ends in a consonant, if you are going to change it from infinitive form, the past form or past participle form, you just go ahead and add ed. So record, you add ed, and then you say record it. Another example, Bob, B 
P A R B. Up looks like I need to go and have my hair pumped. Well, listeners, I've indirectly given you an example. The word P A R B E D, barbed, is an example of a regular verb that ends in ed in order to form it past the form. Now let's move to the next one, which ends in ied to form H past the form of past participle form. And this is the one that ends in ry. For example, the word cry, C-R-Y. Remember? Could I know you do? Cry, C-R-Y. You remove the Y at the end, you add I-E-D and you get C-R-I-E-D, cry. The last one is the word dry, which is D-R-Y. You remove the Y, you add I-E-D and that is dry. Well, listeners, this is all I'd like to tell you about regular verb.